Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking more about these hexiflexagons or flexi-hexagons, whatever you want to call them. Here you can see one that I've made earlier with a face, face in black and white, and a face with lots of saturated colours. Um, you can see this would work perfectly as a hexi-flexicon, and I'll show you how we set that up in Photoshop right now. So you will need, ultimately, to have a Photoshop file that looks just like this. You can see that the faces are rotating around to create the effect once folded up of the hexi-flexicon. Um, in case you weren't sure how to cut out a face, I will just hide some of these layers so you can see what we're going to do. And hide those two. So what we would be doing is, here is a photograph of yours truly. And I'm just going to hide the template a minute, show you that. Here is a shape, which is a hexagon. And I've placed the hexagon over my face. You see, I can move it around to wherever I want to go. Once I've got it where I want, I'm going to use the magic wand tool. I'm going to click inside the hexagon so it's flashing. And I come over to my layer menu, hide the eye on the layer, which is got the hexagon on, click on the layer with my face, and then go edit, copy, edit, paste. And you will notice straight away that you don't see anything different. But once I hide the original photograph, you can see that I've now cut out the face. That's very, very straightforward. What I will then do is to copy and paste that several times, so I've got lots of faces, and I can spread them around so I can see all the different faces that I've got. So I've got three different faces. Now, for the effect I want, I want one of them black and white, and I want one of them really colorful. So in case you didn't know how to do that, I'll show you how to do that really quickly. We're gonna go edit, no, we're going to go to image, adjustment, and black and white. That makes the black and white one black and white. So you'll see that one's turned black and white. And the other one, I'll go image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'm going to flood it with color. Now you could use different photographs, different faces at this point, or all sorts of things, but we can get to that later. But just for this example, I'm going to be using these three ones here. Okay. Now, what we need to do is start to arrange them and copy them as required. So we're going to need three of each. So the first thing you can do is copy it so you've got three of each if you wish. So there's my three colourful ones and I've also got three black and white ones and somewhere other I've got some regular ones wherever they might have hidden. There's one there. And then what I need to do is I need my little template back. So if I get my template, open the eye, and then I'm going to go through how it's set up. So what I would do is I would take the photograph of the face. So for example, this one, I'd move it to the relevant area, starting in this bottom corner here, which you can't see because these guys are in the way. So you can just hide all the other ones out of the way for now. So just working with one, I'm always going to get very confusing very fast. So I get this chap here, and he's going to go down this corner here. And what we will do is we'll go edit, transform, and then we'll rotate. And we'll type in here, either 120, if we'll get 120. Or we'll type in minus 120 if we want to go the other way. Okay? Too easy. I can't remember which way around it is, so I'm going to leave it blank for a minute and find the correct layer. And it is actually right there. So that is my first layer. So we've rotated it around there, so hide that one. Next, I need to open the next one. In this case, we don't need to do anything apart from place it in this area here. The next one we need to rotate round by 120, so it goes there. The next one, we need to rotate the other direction. So it's up here with the eyes down there, okay? And then one more on this row, and it's facing that way around, okay? So just change the order, change the rotation, and then we do the top row. So we go for one that way around, 
or one that way around, or one that way around, which is straight up, one that way around, and one that way around. Once we've done this, we can go to our little template, hide it, and then we can print one out. So you go file, print, set up the printer how we want it, press print, and it'll print out. And then you'll see that we fold it up using that special technique. I'll show you the folds on this PowerPoint here quickly. So you fold it along the length, you fold the corner over, you fold the bit round, and then you fold the whole thing together, and then you turn it into a hexi-flexicon. And you can watch the videos how hexi-flexicons work on my channel, Front of Car for Nature of Flowers, and see how they work. I've got a little one here I can show you right now, actually. So you get the idea. So what happens is you flip them in and out, and the picture changes. And each time you do it, a different picture will appear. Okay, have fun making your hexi-flexicons. And obviously, if you enjoyed what you're watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day making hexi-flexicons of faces or anything else for that matter. Okay, and goodbye.